finally, take this word. When you are home, sitting down, when you are sitting down at home, before you start praying, there are many things you need to do before pray. Think about your accident, where you are coming from, your past record. You may not be able to remember when you are little, but the little you can remember, just bring it to your present. When you bring all this to your present, you will know that enemy, they cannot kill you. It is your fear of enemy that kill you. They cannot kill you. It's your fear. When you begin to kill, when they attack you and the fear come to you, that fear develops a partition, heart attack, depression, and this thing becoming sickness, lead to death. Attack on your business cannot destroy your business. It is the fear of that attack that destroys your business. Attack on your head cannot kill you. If they give you poison, it cannot kill you. But the fear of that, when you begin to remember people they have given poison, or when you meet doctor, doctor say, ah, no, go and write your way. That is fear. You are dead already. There is nothing you have gone through now that someone has not gone through it in the past. There is nothing you have facing that someone has not faced in the past. And you know what become of them. But what is your problem? Why are you easily forgetting the history? Bible is our standard. Take your Bible and read. You have your role model. If you cannot get any role model in this earth, in the Bible, by the time you read your Bible, you'll find your role model in your Bible. Time is too short. We have wasted our time on this, wasted our time on our marriage, wasted our time on our education, wasted our time on our deed, wasted our time of free relationship. We keep wasting our time, come back to where we started. You go this way, you come back to where you started again. You go that way, you come back to where you started again. That is your lie. I'm just telling you your lie. Some when I go to America, I spend 20 years, I will be great. After getting to America 30 years, you go back to where you started. If I have got a billion of dollars, I start business, I become great. You got the billion of dollars, at the end of the day, back to where you started again. There's nothing you have not tried. If there's anything you have not tried, it's Jesus. Tell your neighbor, if there's anything I have not tried, tried. it's Jesus. Jesus. Because following Jesus is your own way of following. You have not followed Jesus genuinely. You have to say the truth. You have not. You are hearing from me now that your situation is meant to strengthen your desire and your determination. And this is the first time you are hearing this kind of thing. And if you have heard it in the past, you have not been putting it to practice. When trouble comes, you're crying. Is that somebody who is following Jesus? Trouble comes, you started crying. How do we test your faith? You say you're a Christian. So if you're a Christian now, they should not test your faith. Anything that is not tested is not genuine. Tell your neighbor. Because you want to start as fake. Why, why are you afraid of test? Sickness tests you, you are complaining. How do we know you are genuine? Failure tests you, you complain. How do you know you are genuine? 
Temptation come, you complain. How do we know you are genuine? Tribulation come, you complain. How do we know you are genuine? Tell your neighbor, anything that is not tested is not genuine. You know how temptation Jesus went through? A lot of tests. So when sickness comes, it's a test to know whether you're genuine. But you keep complaining. And now I serve Jesus. I know Jesus. Why all this has happened to me? Why this setback? I don't know. I'm tired. Because of that, you will not pray again. After a while, you continue to pray. But already you have uh, revoked. You have complained. So when those things come, it's to remind you, hey, this is to test my genuineness. Whether I'm truly a child of God, or I'm truly for Jesus, or fake. It's a test. Anything that is not tested is not genuine. Don't cry. Don't murmur. Don't lament. When tests come in any form, you allow tests to separate your marriage. You allow tests to destroy your business. You allow tests to destroy your health. You allow tests to destroy your life. A lot of marriage today that's supposed to be together. The trouble supposed not to separate them, but little trouble, divorce. Temptation come, divorce. Sickness come, divorce. Hardship come, divorce. The same to business partner. A lot of business has been scattered. Because of this temptation, church, you stop coming to church because of trouble you are going through. <laughs> Most actually, the area I know all of us as wrong is the way we handle relationship. Everybody is wrong there. Everybody is wrong when it comes to that relationship issue because we destroy relationship beyond repair. No matter what anybody might have done to you, be careful. Make sure you are not destroy your relationship with the person to the extent that in future you cannot go to him or her. Beyond repair is <laughs> bad. Because God always using people we have fought with, people we have issue with, people that we see as an enemy, to be our savior in the future. This is what is happening all over the world today. You just go to many companies, you want business, or you need help. By the time you walk inside the company, you find that, uh, ha, you want to walk back with your back. So, no, no, I'm not, no, no problem, I will come back. I'll come back, I'll come back. What happened? Somebody you find that uh, he used to be your driver in the past. Now become the MD of the big company. And you have done so bad to him. You're not on back. Say, oh, I'll come back. I'll come back. Eh? Oh, God, come. I'll come back. <laughs> You will now begin to ask yourself, maybe I have gone to the wrong, wrong office. It's not wrong office, though. that is the office you need to go. Tomorrow is mystery. So thank you. Viva, thank you.